everybody, it's Mr. Santa Fan 10 and welcome to my um, tutorial of how to make the paper inflatable rabbit. It's a little bit easy to do it, but hard to make because once you blow on on this little hole. In fight. Man, we're getting all broken stuff here. There we go. So right now I'm gonna use a construction paper, but I'm gonna make it for a friend. You can barely see it. There. So what you need, you can grab origami paper or or your construction paper. So what you do, if you're using construction paper, yeah, fold it until it's a triangle. And then try to cut out the XX the excess paper on your fingernail around, around it and I can just use an object Now just uh, turn around. Now you have a square piece of paper. And just slow this down a little bit. There. Okay, now since we only did one crease. Now we have to do put this point up to here so I can make another triangle. My crease is on good because I had an accident. My middle finger kind of like broke. It doesn't hurt that much but when I try to push it down it hurts. It kind of like stings. Okay. Now that's not it. Now I have to take the bottom side and lift it up to the upper side. Finally. Now we have to take the other lower side and bring it up to the other upper side. Okay, now since we have that, I could fold it on one of these diagonal creases. I'm gonna use this one. There. Now just wait for me because I have to sit down.
There, finally. Okay, now you can get a better angle at this. So now, what we have to do is take our thumb and our index finger and put it right at the middle of that triangle. Now just push it in and then it will make an upside down prism and now if you just fold it in now we'll make two triangles with two flaps on the side okay for this next step I need to explain more so I'm going to just adjust this a little bit there now what we have to do is take this flap and put it up to to reach this tip right there and then we take the other one and put on the same tip now we have a diamond in the middle so now what we have to do is I'm going to take my pencil here or you can just fold it and now we can just fold the tip inside of there and now we have a hexagon now we have to fold it in so this side goes into this empty side and to here. Now we have to fold this side in side so we can make another triangle. Do the same with the other side. And now if you just open it and now inside here should be a opening now we have to take this and just put it inside of that opening do the same with the other side Okay, now we have an hexagon again. Now we have to turn it over and place it on this side. Now, what we have to do is take this tip and push it down into the middle just to make it easier. I marked it. Is it a good one? But just because it's is like that, but still you can barely see it. So now we have to take this tip and put it down on that line. Crease it and do it with the other side. Now we should have kind of like this, a kite ship in the front, but not these. Now what we have to do is take this and put it over till you feel something stuck to there. Crease it and do the same with the other side. Okay, now we made a bit of the ears. And it should look like a T. Now, what we have to do with this side is push this tip into that line. 
and then did the same thing with the other side. And that's how I make an inflatable bunny. And then just put it like that, like a plus. Then just open it. And then right there, I have to use a pencil. And right inside there, there is a hole. Blow through it and Oh yeah, I forgot to first slide it down, flat in it down. There. Now I guess it'll work. And there, the unflayable bunny. Now if you want to turn it back to inflatable, you can just push deep sides in, and now it's back to flat form. Okay, this has been Mr. Sutherland, and I'm going to be signing off.